What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, politics, which is always something fun on a video games channel. A lot of conversation has been going on uh, recently concerning Kanye West and Candace Owens. And really a, a very foolish comment that Kanye made that immediately made me take a double take. I agree with Kanye West. I love the way Candace Owens thinks. She's a free mind. She doesn't owe her allegiance to anyone who isn't out for her best interests. She's a critical thinker. And to me, that's pretty obvious if you listen to the woman speak. Kanye West obviously saw this and, and agreed and initially came out to huge backlash by saying that he loves the way that Candace Owens thinks. And I think he was saying that because this young woman uh, was at a convention speaking on behalf of her organization uh, and they had some Black Lives Matter protesters there. And she brought up the fact that these people usually call on the past, their ancestors past, to validate points that really don't apply today. She was saying that, you know, you guys are bringing up 400 years of slavery or Jim Crow, which none of you lived through, which is a fact. It's a fact. My, grand, my great grandmother was a slave. Uh, and so it's something that she lived through. My great grandfather was a slave. My grandma used to tell me about, you know, picking cotton and all these things. So, you know, I've, I've heard the, the tales as a young kid. I used to listen to my grandmother, Abby, speak and, and tell me about that life. It's very far removed from my life. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a, a relic of the past that's it's relevant to know your history, but you can't live in your past. You can't hold on to something that, that happened to your ancestors uh, because holding on to that bad memory or, or holding on to things that atrocities that were inflicted on your, your ancestors by people who, don't, who aren't alive anymore and aiming it at, at their descendants to me is foolhardy. And so basically Candace Owens was saying that. She was saying that you guys are overprivileged Americans, which America is the greatest country in the world. We, we have privileges that many countries don't have. Women have the right to travel freely and vote and speak out and protest. You know, if you go to the Middle East, that's unheard of. Uh, you know, there are trans rights, there, there's gay rights, there's, you know, minority rights, there's, you know, there, there are sanctuary cities, places that are crazy, but this is the freest place. So to live here and to constantly be in a state of anguish, I won't say denial, but maybe it is denial because you're deny, denying the actual reality of your situation and living in the past is what she's saying a victim mentality and um, I think it's true it's something I've been saying for a long time that you know my brothers and sisters talk about the past like they lived it instead of thinking about their tomorrow and, and thinking about their future and, and instead of aiming your hatred towards someone with a different skin color focus your determination on a positive outcome for yourself you know I had a conversation with a guy at work today and we were talking, you know, it's a white guy. I was talking to him, you know, we were talking. He's telling me about where he grew up and I told him where I grew up. And I grew up in what we would consider a project or, or, or a very diminished community with very low income black people. Many, My mother used to get a, a box of cheese. It'd be a box with a big block of cheese. I remember this. And the cheese would come every month and she would cut it up and give it to the kids. And we'd all get a piece of cheese and we'd be running around you know eating our cheese my mother was very very poor and she she had a hard time raising you know a majority of her children alone and so i grew up in that in, impoverished environment and i was explaining to a, a co-worker you know how we get caught in that environment and we never escape it we never look to a brighter future because we look at our surroundings and we mock them children will do that uh you know if you see a mother with five or six kids who's being taken care of by the government and they're feeding her and feeding all her kids and they're going and buying crab legs and eating good and you're looking at that and you're a young lady and you say who's paying the bills and you find out from this woman which I'm telling you from my own experience you know I've, I've talked to many people in the hood who live this kind of life the government pays their bills you know they get WIC they get child support they, they, they get welfare they get a free house and, and their children grow up and they see that as a means of survival. And so they grow up and emulate that. And those children grow up and emulate it. 
the young boys growing up in the hood they 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 go to school where it's it's looked down on if you if you want to and you know enhance your your mental prowess if you want to read a book if you want to stay after school and study if you want to work hand in hand with a teacher to to better your your grade point average the people in your community look down on you and, and, and victimize you and so it's not a cool thing in the hood to be smart so what do these kids do they grow up and they idolize basketball players they idolize football players they idolize musicians rappers on tv with pockets full of money talking about gang shit when all they do is sit in the studio and write rhymes so it is a trap for for many many of these people you know, be it looking back in the past and looking at slavery, looking at Jim Crow, looking at the atrocities that did happen and on some level still affect us today. And so so not, I'm not saying it. I don't think that Candace Owens is saying to completely ignore the prospect of negativity and racism coming your way, because that'll always happen. I think that what Candace Owens was saying is to be proactive you have the the biggest chance that we've ever had as black people in america is right now we have more rights today than we've ever had in the history of this country when is enough going to be enough for us to say i don't give a fuck about what happened in the past i want to make my way i want to work my ass off i want to do what i have to do for my family i want to make sure my next generation is better than this one that's what i did and so i think that that's what candace owens was talking about i think let me drink it like Donald, Donald Trump. Uh, I think that's what Candace Owens is getting around to. Uh, removing ourselves from a, a victim mentality, an oppressed mentality, and moving forward with a, a new ideal of our future. Being proactive and active and looking at the next generation and, and laying out a, a groundwork for their success versus teaching them that we're, we've, we're victimized that there's institutional racism, that no matter where you go, you're going to be treated wrong. It's not true. Some places you might. Some, some instances you're going to run into people who have their own problems who will treat you differently based on the way you look, but it's just not the way it is everywhere you go. So it's different. I think you should teach your children there are going to be people out there who are assholes, but those are the ones you stay away from. You work around the people who are going to treat you fairly. You look for those people. You look for like-minded individuals and you and you move in that direction but Kanye West you know he 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 did speak out on this and, and I agree with him about um, you know Candace Owens and, and the way she thinks but Kanye West also came out and said something afterwards which is his, his hair brain and I know Kanye West he wants to think that he's a genius but if you're a genius you don't have to say it if you're a genius the people around you will say that you are a genius it's like if you're a good person, you don't have to tell everybody you know, I'm really a good person. I don't know if you know this, but I'm a great person. I treat people really, really kind. If you're that kind of person, the people around you, will that it'll become a, you know, a tale. That person there is a really good person. So Kanye, a, a piece of advice. If you really are a genius, if you really believe you are a genius, it'll show through the people around you. You know, the people who actually talk to you and know you will be the ones to spread the word. But one thing you said that really made me believe, and I never did believe it, but you really put the stamp on you not being a genius, is making a, a, a harebrained statement like, slavery is a choice. Now, I don't know if you were uh, maybe putting it in a different context, like slavery of the mind, but from what I'm understanding, uh, a lot of people are taking this literally, as in slavery, that my great-grandparents went through, that your great-grandparents went through, and it wasn't a fucking choice, you know. Uh, I can only imagine, and that's all any of us can do, is imagine what these people went through, the, the trials that they've gone through, uh, trying to stay alive and trying to stay together with their, their, their wives and children and being separated and the pain that would cause. Uh, I'm only imagining someone ripping my kids away from me. It's, it's got to be the worst thing a person can go through. And trust me, that stuff is not a choice. A lot of people don't know this, but, you know, I'm an honest person. I grew up in a very controversial uh, situation as a child where I was stolen from my mother. Me and my older brother, we were stolen from our mother by my father. My father ran um, a business that he, that he created called Teen Careers, and he had a bunch of kids who worked for him. And what he did was he had crews of people who would go out and work, and uh, he made us work for him from the time I was six until I was 20. 
and we worked for a couple of years my dad took us out of school and the fbi was looking for us because he came up to ohio stole me on my 11th birthday drove us straight down here to georgia put us directly to work we moved from hotel to hotel i wasn't allowed to call my mother my dad brainwashed me and my older brother and made us call her when we were like 12 to, to tell her off and cuss her off and, and cuss her out and listen to her crying asking us please tell us tell her where we were we were in a, a sheridan hotel and my dad would move us from hotel to hotel and as someone who knows slightly what it's like to be a slave and to to get your ass whooped if you didn't perform and to and to be you know talked down to and treated as a piece of property and not a child by my own biological father a man who i love to death you know uh it's kind of hard to not love your parent because you are you are the evolution of that person and, and since these days you know it's been shit almost 20 years since this stuff happened to me me and my father have a really good relationship and uh, he has apologized for what he did to us it's a horrible thing to go through and it wasn't a choice to be a slave for someone else and to be beat if you don't perform if you don't do well enough I know exactly what that's like and so that's something I can actually feel and so that's that's one thing Kanye you say something that I can agree with and then you say something that's completely harebrained makes me wonder if you even knew what you were talking about when you said the part that I agree with because to me one is so common sense the other is just completely out of nowhere you know and so that's my thoughts on it uh, I'm an honest guy. I've always been. I try to be honest with everyone. I don't live the kind of life that I feel like I have to ever lie about. I'm a Republican black guy <laughs> living in America in probably the most liberal time in American history. Um, it's not a, a, an easy thing for me to even say around people that I don't agree with the, the liberal agenda. I think it's toxic. I think that there's a war on masculinity. I think that you know, there's so many issues going on beneath the scenes and everybody's focusing on you know this person's rights and that person's rights and illegal uh immigrants rights and i feel like the, the people of this country are being trampled on our rights are being taken away and at least being they're trying to take them away and so yeah me being a black guy talking to my family talking to my friends to be a person who voted for donald trump it a lot of people don't like it a lot of people don't understand it and to those people hey i understand where you're coming from I'm able to have a conversation. I do a podcast with guys who all would have voted for Hillary Clinton. I think at least one of them, I think, did. Of course, Gary can't. He's in the UK. But me being the black guy is what the stereotypical person would expect to be a staunch Democrat. But I understand the Democrats were the founding party of the KKK. The Democrats have been the party of poor black communities. Look at Chicago under Democratic leadership. The president of the last eight years is from there these people don't seem to care about the people of this country it's all identity politics it's all this person this group this you know trans rights these these immigrants these black people it's not the individual anymore it's all identity politics and unfortunately a huge demographic of the country has fallen hook line and sinker for it i don't apologize for my thoughts i respect you for yours i hope you guys are enjoying your week it's the weekend Let's play some video games. On the Beastly Gamer, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below about this little commentary. Uh, you know, and I'm sure that I'll get a lot of flack, like Kanye did for being the guy on the other side. I'm not the stereotype, so it, it can be you know off-putting to some people. When people immediately see me, they think I, I voted for Hillary Clinton. Why? Because I'm black. That's really the God's honest truth. Because black people have been conditioned and taught to believe we have to be Democrats, even though they do nothing for us as a community. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I really appreciate appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.